everybody welcome back to baking with a good wife and today we're going to be baking sourdough sugar cookies and it's a really really simple recipe it's super easy to do this recipe is perfect for any holiday like if you have christmas if it's thanksgiving and you want to make some cookies but today we're specially making halloween cookies i've got all of my halloween cookie cutters set out and that's what we're going to be doing today it's a halloween theme it's scary Okay, it's dark, so come on um, and join me. But yeah, I've made my mistakes, my, my fair share of mistakes making sugar cookies in the past with non-sourdough cookies. And I find that when you use granulated cane sugar, you can see them little granulated. The ones that we use, the cane sugar that I always use for y'all. When you use that, you can see it in the sugar cookies and it's not flattering. That's you know my favorite I mean? type. Like you can kind of like taste that. it. I don't like that. I want mine to be smooth, and if there is going to be some granulated something, it's because I put it on top. Mm -hmm. Not because, you know, I, it was like some type of mishap. If you want really, I would say like perfection, perfe perfection cooking, and I'm that type of lady, like, I'm very passionate about food. I need it to taste like them bakeries in New York that taste delicious. Like, I need my food to taste. Like, somebody would be like, I can't, where, where do I get this? I can't get this anywhere. It's like, so like, good. like, like, um, that big. to use powdered sugar as my base instead of um, granulated sugar or granulated white sugar so um, the first reason is, is that I have worked in a bakery for many years before and the trick to making really really nice smooth delicious sugar cookies is to use confectioner sugar it works every time for me um, before I had that knowledge I used to use granulated cane sugar or just any granulated sugar and you can always see those crystals inside of the sugar cookie and that for me I don't like that um, when I'm eating a sugar cookie I want my sugar cookie to be nice and smooth and pretty much perfect that's how I am when it comes to any baked good if I'm about to eat something sweet it has to be perfect so that's just my little saying okay if I'm about to eat something sweet it gotta be perfect so if you guys want a perfect sugar cookie make sure you go ahead and use some powdered sugar or um, confectioner sugar. You can go ahead and opt in to use any type of sugar you like or sugar replacement like a Arefritol, monk fruit sweetener. So now that we have our butter and 
sweetener of your choice. I'm using confectioner sugar. We're going to go ahead and add in the flour mixture that we mixed up earlier in the video. And we're just going to add it in slowly in batches and do a light stir as you see me doing here. You're going to see me add in just a little bit more and keep stirring. And I have to stress this with these cookies. Um, it kind of, because it's gluten, you don't want to overwork the gluten at all. So please be very, very light-handed when it comes to stirring these um, cookie dough because you don't want to overwork the gluten and then it become all stretchy and weird. Um, that is very possible if you're not paying attention to how much you're stirring. So um, you can just take a look at me and see how much I'm stirring in the light handedness that I'm uh, applying you know like not being super heavy with the stirring so these it, this is a batch that I already completed um, I had rolled it out and put it in the oven and took it out these are the Halloween inspired cookies I made two batches of cookies that day I made some for the kids some dinosaur shapes whatever shapes they wanted and then I went ahead and used like all of my Halloween cookie cutter shapes. I have some ghosts, cats, and witch heads. So now I'm gonna go in and show you all how I roll out the dough. And really, really simple. Um, you know, if you already understand how to roll out cook cookie dough, then you know you already know how to do it. So I just took this out of the fridge and I cut it into two pieces. Um, and the piece that I'm not using, I put back into the refrigerator to keep it nice and warm because you don't want the dough to get all warm and the butter to start melting and stuff like that. So I like to keep it cool in the fridge. So with your rolling pin, you're going to do your best to roll out the sheet of cookie dough to about one inch to a half an inch. Um, of thickness now you can really just eyeball it for what your preference is I like my cookies to be mm, I don't want to say thick but I don't like them to be super thin I really don't like that so I'm really making sure to roll them out to a good thickness <laughs> that I prefer but for you you can you know do whatever you like but just make sure you don't roll them out too thin because they're gonna cook really quickly and then it's gonna kind of be like a cracker um like a snappy hard type of cookie and that's really not what i'm going for since these are supposed to be sugar cookies um so just continue rolling it out and then i'm gonna go in with my um cookie cutters and then you're gonna see me cut out the shapes and all that so everything else is pretty self-explanatory so i will see you guys in the next one make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you want the full <laughs> recipe and breakdown of um, how to make sourdough sugar cookies go ahead and click the link in my description box i have the full blog post down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out all right stay blessed love you
Are you still getting it? Go! Mm -hmm. Cookies and nasty! So these cookies right here, my son is um, designing. These ones were kind of like me trying to figure out the best texture for um, my roll icing. And these one, these these ones were just too hard. These would be better for like making roses or something like that. Um, so I had to add more water to get more of a nice piping consistency. So when I did that, I was able to get more of a nice glossy flat cookie um icing that didn't break my cookie like i broke two of the other cookies so i'm pretty much practicing right now because trying to get down the consistency right for my recipe to post to my blog and um so far it's going really good Thank you.